Hi everyone, you are watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. I'm your business evangelist, Lloyd Luna, and this is Creative Business. Today, the headlines that made another exciting business week. A wrap-up of big news and interesting events that shaped the last seven days of Philippine business. Next, have you just started your own business? Are you an employee or do you even belong to middle upper class families who look for equality and affordable houses? Mr. Bill Dominguez of Green Circle Realty can help you as he discusses more of what the company can actually offer you. Also today is Mini Tune. What about a nurse turned business woman? Well, Smart Concepts is here because they are going to share with us some of the things that they've learned about business in my top eight. How do businessmen relieve stress? And covering the A to Z, upsetting your goals, we are now on letter E, engage in new things on creative business alphabet of achievement. Let's begin the hour with a business that shaped our week. Felix net income rises 124% in 2010. Felix Mining Corporation on Thursday reported a 124 increase in core net income to 4.15 billion pesos in 2010 from 1.85 billion peso the year ago. In a disclosure to the stock exchange, Felix said it's a bit the EBITDA means earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization went up by 58% to 6.57 billion peso last year from 2009's 4.16 billion pesos. Its operating revenue also rose 48% to 13.4 billion pesos last year from 9.06 billion the previous year on higher metal prices and increased output from the firm's Padcal gold and copper mines. Wow, it's actually great news. Next, inflation on tar target till 2013. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas, BSP, said yesterday that it sees inflation falling within its target up to 2013, despite global fears of oil and food price spikes. Quote, on the outlook on inflation for 2011, 2012, and 2013, we are within our target, even putting in all of the risks, particularly on commodity prices, including oil. That's BSP Deputy Governor Diwasi Ginigunda told reporters. Now, the central bank is, well, targeting a 3% to 5% inflation rate this year until 2013. Inflation averaged 3.8% last year within the 35 to 5.5% full year target. Now, here's another thing. Empire is to invest one, or I mean 12 billion pesos in new housing projects. How is that? Empire East Land Holdings Incorporated will invest 12 billion pesos in residential projects outlined for the first half of this year. The medium cost housing arm of uh, this company is actually doing a, a, a great work. And uh, its property arm, Tycoon Andertan, said in the disclosure to the Stock Exchange Thursday that it would roll out 4,700 new residential units amounting to how much? Well, it's kind of easy. 12 billion pesos in the first half of the year. Now this, as the company continues to develop projects targeted for the burgeoning middle class. Our confidence, he said, level in the real estate sector is very high. Our new projects will enable Filipino families to own quality, budget-friendly homes in the very best locations. That's Empire Island President Anton Anthony C. Yu speaking. Now, those were the news that shaped our week. Why don't we go to our guest for this week? From the Global News Network studio in the Philippines, here's your business evangelist and host, Lloyd Luna. All right, everybody. 
This is uh, another wonderful day and fascinating day for us because you know I have a guy with me. He owns a company called Green Circle Realty, and I, I I I understand that this guy is also passionate about education. That's why he is um, really doing a lot of stuff in terms of not just selling but helping people to achieve their potential. Of course, in the area of sales, ladies and gentlemen, the president of Green Circle Realty, Billy Dominguez. Hi, sir. Welcome to the show. Uh, good morning, Lloyd, yeah, good to, morning. Your, to your televiewers. Wow, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your time. Yeah, I would love to be with you today. All right. How is everything going? The family? Yeah, everything is okay, exciting. We are in the upswing as far as uh, our real estate sales is concerned. Mm -hmm. We're catering to the excited market, which are the end users. Oh, this is the first time I, I've heard about this excited market. Yeah, How do you know that the market is, is excited? Yeah, because we're dealing with the middle and the above middle income market, wherein their talagang dream nila is magkaroon ng sariling bahay. So, oh. naghihintay lang sila ng mga masisipag, magagaling na mga ahente mm -hmm. na mag-cater sa kanila. So, rather than talking to strangers, they might as well go to people they know, they trust, mm -hmm. para yung bahay na gusto nila eh, maging realidad. Right, maging katotohan sa kanila. How's, how's family life? Uh, okay, so okay. I, have, uh, my, I have my son mm -hmm. working with me now. So the fresh graduate from uh, St. Benilde. So from internet marketing, right. Right. you trained him. Right. So he decided to go into internet selling, <laughs> real estate. So because uh, he sees all the young guys, making money out of real estate selling. That, right. Sama na rin ako rito, hindi na ako maghanap okay, ng so trabaho. Just to make it clear, you did not force him or a anything? Uh, no. In fact, my first choice for him is to look for a job in a different company for <laughs> training, para hindi rin yung father and son relationship. But I cannot control him because when he did marketing through mm -hmm. internet, mm -hmm. Uh, sales started coming in. Tapos the young guys na nasa amin ngayon, they're making money out of it. So sabi niya, Dad, eh kung sila tinitrain mo, eh, bakit hindi pa ako? <laughs> and, and, Kaya, yeah. choice niya. Right. And he also sees the figure. I mean... Ah, yes. We cannot deny <laughs> that because uh, nakikita niya sa amin, nakikita niya dun sa mga ibang ahente namin. So, decision niya. Ang maganda doon, decision niya yan. Okay. And nobody is to blame uh, whether he succeeds or, or fails. Right. Now, what about you? I mean, when you were still younger, do you, also uh, the same, do, do you also get the same experience of your parents telling you, hey, you go to another company? Yes, uh, my childhood was very simple. I came from the province. So my concept of success is basically after school, I can get a good employment. Mm -hmm. Siguro I can get promoted. Mm -hmm. So never, it never crossed my mind that I will go into selling because I was the shy guy. So oh, come on! You, you mean the shy that th does not speak? Something like that? Kind of. I, I can do good in my examinations, <laughs> but I cannot do recitations. Right. Kaya kumitsin, hindi kaya hindi siguro ako naging honor student kasi mahina ako sa recitation. Yes, it's, it's about 15% of the entire grade, I think. Yeah, so my, my grade school classmates siguro would be surprised that I'm into sales because it's a career na mukhang hindi ko papasukan eh. Right, so what, what happened between the days that you were shy and the, now that you are no longer shy? Siguro I was so lucky that I started with the work. I work in government where it was about public affairs. I did public service through my uh, work there until uh, I, was I was very happy with my job because I was really 